hi guys welcome back to another video uh before i go ahead i must thank those of you who have subscribed those of you who keep on coming back to watch my video your effort is really really highly appreciated thank you so much for all your support i do not ever ever take you guys for granted and for those of you who has been watching without subscribing what are you guys waiting for go ahead and support your lady i will appreciate it thank you so much and also do not forget to hit on the subscription button and also the bell notification so that each time i upload a new video you will be among the first to see so guys today i am bringing uh to you uh an update on uh don davis uh you guys already know don davis but for those of you who doesn't know uh don davis is a nigerian boy a child that uh, was sent to school a school called deeper life high school in nigeria and uh, the boy was molested and abused in the school so the mother of the child came crying out came uh, telling the public of what um happened to her child and then uh so today i have a follow-up of the video uh the boy uh thank god is recovering and finally because all along uh the mom has been the one who has been speaking but finally the boy has been able to come out on his own to speak yeah some of you watched the video that i posted last time many of you did not understand what the video is all about because most of you have not seen all the previous video i think the mom of the child has posted about i don't know uh i don't know four five because she keep on she promised to keep on updating nigerians and that is exactly what she has done she kept on updating nigerians about whatever that is going on concerning the case so some of you in my last video i brought out clips different different clips from different videos that she had made these are short short clips from all the all the videos that she had made why because i didn't want to put on because the first very first video that she made although she herself said that people should share it but i find it uh, a bit uh, not too okay to be shared and also i was thinking that yeah because of your uh, youtube policy i was thinking that maybe it is not actually a good idea to share it here on youtube that's why i did not share it but most of you were telling me that you really need to see all the videos so that you have to follow it up but i thought again there are so many videos on this issue out there a lot of youtubers has posted all the update that the woman has been giving and uh, although she said that we should share it but then i think it's not necessary because you must have seen the video somewhere somehow or the other but today i decided to post this video because the boy himself has finally spoken so that's why i feel glad to post the video so that you guys can hear it directly from the boy's mouth and believe me guys what the boy said is not pleasant at all you know in this case as a mother if you are a mother there's no how you will hear all the things that happen to this boy and your heart will not break and your heart will not bleed as a mother when you hear what this boy passed through in a school where her, his mom thought that he is safe honestly speaking ah oh sorry guys i'm back again it is very very difficult for you to uh... uh guys i think i should just let you people watch it by yourself and hear from him directly yourself because uh you know but before uh i leave you guys to watch this video i want to point out some certain things you know you know already we everybody knows that with what this boy went through i mean don davis the boy need a serious therapy you know forget the fact that he's smiling in the video i'm happy that he's recovering i thank god because the boy i i saw in this particular video is not the boy that we saw on the first video that the mom uh, posted so thank god that he's making a good recovery but there's one thing i want to point out which uh is very very important and the mother should not forget that this child needs very serious therapy 
Forget the fact that the child is smiling. Yes, he's still a kid. He might not know, but that boy is broken. The things that were done to him, I mean, the boy needs a very serious therapy, you know. And again, the boy mentioned two other boys, you know, that he said did some certain things to him. It breaks my heart, really. Not just for him, Don Davis, but also for these two boys, you know. Because for these boys to do these things, only God knows how they were brought up or what they too have passed through in whichever environment where they are. I am not saying that they have been abused or they have not. I don't know. But such kids also, really, it is not for those kids to have the mind to do what they, what they have done to Don Davis. For them, for them to have the mind to do it to a fellow child. <clears throat> this kind of kids should not be, they should not be allowed to grow up like this. Because if they are allowed to grow up like this, the society that these children are going to be in is in serious trouble. For me, I've I think, I think, my own opinion, I think that these two boys also that Don Davis mentioned also need therapy themselves because they are also kids themselves too, you know. According to what the, uh, Don Davis said, these kids are in SS1. So, like, for those of you who are not Nigerians, you know, I don't know how the high school in your country is, but in Nigeria, the high school, they have... It's divided into two. They have the JSS and the SS. The JSS is, uh, I think, from one to three or one to four, if I'm not mistaken. Why the SS is uh, from one also to three or one to four, I don't know. So I'm assuming that these kids, that's uh, because uh, according to the Don Davis, the kids are in SS1. So if they are in SS1, so they should be approximately between 14 to 16 years. So you can see that they are also equally kids themselves who are not even supposed to be thinking of things like this. So if they could have the mind, you know, to do this to uh, their fellow child, you can see that they themselves need also serious therapy too. They also need serious therapy. Apart from Don Davis, these kids also need also therapy. You know? So, I mean... I don't even know. Guys, let me just allow you guys to watch this video because mm, I cannot speak for too long without breaking down. So it's better you guys watch the video, but I'm afraid the kind of children the society is bringing up. I'm afraid for our kids. I'm really, really afraid for them. You know, it's high time because it's, it's apparently, it's, it's obvious that most of these kids, that the adults have failed them. The adults have seriously, seriously failed them. It's high time we start living right. It's high time we start imbibing good morals on our kids. If not, I don't know what this society is going to turn into. So guys, without really wasting much of your time, because I didn't intend to speak much on this video, I wanted you guys to hear what the boy said himself. Maybe I can also make another video later concerning the issue, but let me allow you guys to watch it. So uh, if you like the video, just share it. The mom wants the video to be shared so that people can hear what happened to her child. So if you can, share it. And also, um, if you like the video, don't forget to hit on the like button. And uh, yeah, I will leave you guys until next time. When I will see you guys again, it is still I, Zeni, thinking out loud. It is Zeni's thoughts. And Nigerians, some of them have extended hand to you. I want you to tell them your encounter in Deeper Life High School. That thing you told me that made me went to social media. Ten Nigerians, look at me, don't look at anywhere. Are you seeing them? Why I want you to sit near me so that they will not say I'm blinking eye? Why are they calling me? Why are they sending me a message? Don't expose your son. He has been exposed already. The message is coming late. No, somebody, this message somebody sent to me. Somebody's trying to inbox me. Don't, my son has been exposed already. I'll be woman way born for market. There's no need to tell me to close legs. Okay, he has been exposed. Let him, let him remain exposed.
so that when he comes out, you will not make him look like he's, 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 he's not somewhere that should be seen. So don't even... Now, tell Nigerians, how old are you? I'm 11. Be loud, be loud. I'm 11. 11 what? 11 years old. 11 years old. When did you have your last birthday? September 6th. September 6th. When September 6th was your last birthday, eh? Yeah. You turned 11 September 6th. Yeah. Good. Now, um, when were you admitted into Deeper Life High School? October. Speak up. October 8th. October again? 8th. October 8th. Now, from here now, start talking. Tell Nigeria your experience in Deeper Life from October 8th. Oh, yeah. When I go to Deeper Life. They are not hearing you. When I go to the father I school, because I bed wet, Mr. Appman uses belt on me. Anything he sees, iron, belt, stick. Or he can even use stone, sir. Stone? Okay. Because I bed wet, they now put Be me, loud, be loud. They now um, transfer me from JSS1 Dometry to SS1. Okay. Who authorized the transfer? Mrs. Jendidi told um, Mr. Joseph he came now to, to transfer me from JSS1 dormitory to SS1. Okay. Then there was two boys named Ola and Shalom. Call their name again. Ola and Shalom. Okay. They used to put their hand inside my anus. They used to put my hand, their hand inside my anus, bring out food and use that same man. And Nigeria did not hear you clear. Be loud. They used to put my, the, my, their hand inside my anus and they would bring out um, feces for my anus and it would be bringing me somehow. They would not use that same hand and beat me. And for two weeks, I've not beaten. Go ahead and talk. So, did you report to anybody when this happened? No. Why didn't you report to Ndidi or uh, Principal? Uh, or vice principal or house head headmaster. Why didn't you report to them? Because they said they will kill me if I report to anybody. Who said they will kill you if you report? Ola and Shalom. Who is this Ola and Shalom in school? Don't worry, I know I'm not a student. I won't know their name, so don't laugh me. So that people will not join you and laugh me. Who is this Ola and Shalom? The SS1 students. Are they seniors? Yes. And the housemaster does not know that they were doing that to you? Yes. Why didn't he know? He, he doesn't he sleep with you people? He sleeps with us. What time do they normally do this, putting hand in your... So when they put hand in your anus, do you stand or you bend? I bend. They ask you to bend? Yes. Then they will put hand in your anus? Yes. When they put hand, how does your body do you? It does, it does me as if I want to... I want to pull. Nigeria is not hearing you. I want to pull. He does you as if you want to pull. You want to pull. Yes. When they do that, is it in the morning time, at the bedroom, or the toilet, or what time did they do these things to you? 12 o'clock, when everybody has slept. 12 o'clock, when everybody has slept? Yes. Headmaster too will sleep? Yes. I mean, what do you call him? Principal. No, no, the one that used to stay in the hostel. Um, hostel master. Hostel ma hey, hosted master will sleep too. Yes. We will know what will happen. Yes. And you never try to report to them. Yes. Now, your vice principal told me on the 15th I came that I said I had a dream. Your vice principal told me that he once called you and asked you why you are walking and you're uh, like, you are walking and you open your leg to walk like a woman. Why didn't you seize that opportunity and tell him that see what is happening to you? Why didn't you see the opportunity and tell him? I want my face to be seen too. Don't look at cartoon. Let, let me off the TV. Hold it, hold it. Don't touch anything so it does not go off. <laughs> All right. I need you to concentrate here so that you don't go and start discussing cartoon here. No, it's not a laughing matter. So now, now, Mr. Head, uh, Vice Principal, you know I came to your school on the 15th. The day I came to your school, where were you? In church. In church? Yes. Who and who came to brought you out? The principal and vice principal. Came to bring you, bring you out? Yes. Good. So now when they brought you out, 
that you were coming. What did I say that day? I can't remember. You can't remember, okay. So now, Don Davis, the, the vice principal on that 15th said he has called you earlier on. That's the man, no, not the, the, that's the principal. That he has called you earlier on to ask you, why are you walking with your two legs wide open? Why didn't you tell him that time that uh, Kola and Shadom is doing that, is um, putting hand in your bum bum? Talk, speak loud, you are talk active, talk. If I tell um, vice principal, they'll, they'll kill me. Who are the dead that will kill you? Ola and Shalom. Okay. So now, what did Akpan do to you when they brought you back to GSS 1 coaster after I left? Mr. Akpan was still beating me. Okay. Why does he beat you? Because I beg you. You said one day you, he was beating you. Who came to rescue you from him? Mr. The 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 hostel master called. Speak up, speak Mr. up. What, Mr. Michael. Who? Mr. Michael came to beg you from him. Yes. He was beating you on the floor. Yes. Because you finished we. Yes. And Mr. Michael came to beg you from him. Yes. And when Mr. Michael came to beg you, they were holding him. He refused to leave you. Yes. So what did Mr. What did he tell Mr. What did Mr. Michael tell him? Mr. Michael told him that he didn't want to kill this boy. He said, he Do you want to kill this boy? Yes. So he now said what? He doesn't care. He doesn't care if he kill you or not. I pay them way above half a million to kill you. Fine. So now, why we win and putting hand in your bum bum? Why is it that every time they are calling me, your top shop money don't finish? Your top shop money don't finish. Don't you eat in school? Tell, tell Nigerians. What happened when you go to eat? Mr. Alpan will still send me back to the hostel. Why does he send you back to the hostel? To whether I bring something or to, to go and stay there. Why don't he allow you to co complete three meals? He doesn't allow me. He always send me back. Why? Why? What is his reason for sending you back? So I will not get food. And they will not say I came late. They will not get food. They will not say you came late. Mm -hmm. Is he a way of stopping you from wee wee in? Or a way of just, um, I don't know what. A way of stabbing me. Stopping you from? Stabbing me. Stabbing you from we win. I don't want to put words in your mouth. Talk. What can name matter not here? Talk, let people hear. So that is what happened. So when you don't get food to eat, because if you don't eat, you're supposed to be dead by now. How did you then get food to eat when they don't allow you to eat? I go to the shop and buy. You go to shop and buy? Yes. Okay, so that money they, that money I paid into Taco Shop is for bye-bye. So if you go, what and what did you buy? Because I wonder why your biscuit. money keep finishing. They keep calling me. Biscuit and Coke. Biscuit and Coke. That's what you eat from that money to whenever you had the next meal. Because you will. All right. Now, when you were in the boys' home, uh, home, home stay, how, why is it that Mrs. Uh, did you call to tell me that you are smelling? Because I don't know. You don't know? No, no, you know, they call me that she send them deodorant to you. That you are smelling like gutter. Why were you smelling like gutter? Because I didn't bathe for two weeks. You didn't bathe for two weeks. Two weeks. And no teacher, why didn't you bathe for two weeks? Water is not running or what? Is um Olange, the senior said that juniors are not allowed to use senior sister. I didn't hear that. Seniors are juniors are not allowed to use senior sister. That's why you didn't bathe for two weeks. Yes. So the only thing teacher could do was to come in to bring the other and say they smell like gutter. And nobody noticed that you didn't bathe. And you started bathing after that fifteenth I came to school, right? Yes. Do you have any other thing to tell Nigerians if I ask you to go? Yes. Please tell them. One day they kill a python and they say we should not tell anybody.